Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In the first video on this channel, in my first ever tutorial, I showed you how to bring a MetaHuman body mesh with the correct topology to Blender and back to Unreal Engine to conform it inside the MetaHuman Creator plugin. Today, I show you how to do this with a MetaHuman face or head mesh because it is a little different way to do that. So here I've exported a skeletal head mesh from the Creator plugin. Only for the purpose of the tutorial. You can follow along with any kind of head mesh you want to. And it doesn't matter if it is a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. So if you already have a head skin or a character head mesh you want to turn into a metahuman, this is the usual way to do this in Unreal Engine. Create a metahuman identity and double click to open it up. Then go to Create Components and choose From Mesh. Search for your head mesh and click on it. Set the field of view to 50 and bring the camera angle to the front view. Like this. Click on Promote Frame and hit OK. Then click on Track Markers. Unreal Engine now automatically tracks the most important landmarks of the face. Now you can adjust the markers if you needed to and you also can add additional markers to improve the result, but mostly Unreal Engine did a great job. If you are satisfied with the results, click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. Inside the Creator plugin, you can now conform the head from Identity. Select the MetaHuman Identity you just created and hit Conform. It works! But there's one big disadvantage in this method. The Identity Solver only transfers the face part of your head mesh and creates a suitable head shape. This works well if it comes to a human character, but what if you want to customize your head mesh even further or your character is not that human and looks like this? Then you need to bring the head mesh to Blender or any 3D software of your choice. If we use this famous guy for example, you can see the face is well done, but the horns are gone after solving. So there's one additional step to do during the identity process. Before you click on Identity Solve, simply use this console command. MH dot identity dot export meshes and set it to 1. If you now hit the Solve button, Unreal Engine automatically exports a conformed head mesh with the correct topology to your project folder. Inside the saved folder of your project, there is another folder with the name of your identity. Inside this folder, you'll find the mesh as an OBJ file. Let's switch to Blender. Go to Import OBJ. Choose the conformed face mesh and set the forward axis to Z and the up axis to negative Y. Now you can customize it. For Mr. Mall, I imported the original mesh as well and aligned it to the MetaHuman mesh to have a reference where I have to place the horns. Ok, so when you are finished, go to Export OBJ. Leave the default settings, but deselect the materials. Back in Unreal Engine, import your customized mesh. Use the default settings, but change the offset rotation for X and Z to 90 degree. Inside the Creator plugin, you can now conform your modified head. Choose from template and select your head mesh in the content browser or just drag and drop it to the import template option mesh asset. Hit conform. 
That's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!